Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What's going on, everybody? My name is Zelprint, and welcome back to yet another React video. Now, this video came out a few days ago, and I don't normally react to Death Battle, but given who the fight is about, I figured I'd give it a go and see what happens. And I don't know, I just figured change things up a little bit, aside from SCP stuff, and do some Death Battle, because I've never done Death Battle reactions on this channel. I've watched Death Battle outside of YouTube, but never really gave it much of a thought to, you know, put a reaction into it. But considering who the contestants are today, I figured I'd give it a shot. So with that being said, guys, I'm not going to waste too much of your time, and we're just going to get right into the reaction. In three, two, one. One go. This episode is sponsored by it's a little loud. and Hello Fresh. We got death battle. Boba <laughs> Fett, the greatest bounty hunter from a galaxy far, far away. And the Predator, the monstrous manslayer from beyond the stars. I heard they were making another Predator movie with Arnold and I forgot his name. The guy was in the second movie. That they're making a return. At least that's what I've heard. Nothing quite like the thrill of the hunt, especially when you're chasing that most dangerous game. Not humans. We're tugging, face hugging aliens and space wizards. He's with his <laughs> nine boomstick. And it's our Good job to you guys again. their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Throughout the galaxy, few names are as feared as Boba Fett. When you've got the greatest army of all time cloned after you're dead, that's no big surprise. An incredibly <laughs> true, convoluted though. bid to wrest control of the Galactic Republic, the Sith Lords Darth Sidious and Tyrannus secretly organized the construction of a clone army based on the genetic code of the galaxy's greatest bounty hunter at the time, Jango Fett. On one condition, Jango Unchained got to keep one unaltered clone as his son, Boba, who became a cute little murderer just like his... Why did he want a clone of himself as his son? Did they ever explain that? Like, well, what is true in uh, Django's true intentions were? There probably was an explanation. I just have yet to find it. Probably yet. Well, well, that is until Django uh, let it get to his head. Just as nice. strong as his father, Boba swore vengeance on the Jedi and devoted his life to becoming yeah. as deadly an assassin as his forebears. Yeah, cause the Fets aren't just random badasses, like they're Mandalorians. Before, Basically a society completely dedicated to the art of war. Most of the time. Oh, yeah, Indeed. most of the time. In the galaxy's past, Mandalorians have waged war against the Jedi and easily held their own, despite lacking use of the Force. And what's a self-respecting Mandalorian without his Mandalorian armor? Inherited from his True. dad, Fett's armor is made out of Beskar. Also known as Mandalorian iron, Beskar is one of the strongest materials in the galaxy, tough enough to resist thermal detonator blasts and lightsaber strikes. Even bolts of lightning that can vaporize people aren't enough to harm the armor itself. Fed's helmet has a Most of the time. System. Most of the time. Hey, I play this game all the time on my phone. You see an infrared and even has 360 degree vision. And Wait, what? Wrist mounted van braces, designed to counteract a force user's powers, come with a variety of indispensable tools like a flamethrower, fiber cord whip, mini concussion rocket, laser beam, and forearm blades. But when Fed wants to take his opponent by surprise, he breaks out the kneecap rockets. Not since the butt machine guns has death battle oh seen a weapon so devious. <laughs> As a living Swiss Army gun, Fett prefers long-range combat. 
so it helps to have a jetpack for quick getaways, especially one with a rocket that can nuke small spacecrafts. He also has his trusty EE-3 carbine rifle and blaster pistol, which is powerful enough to vaporize a dude in one shot. But should an opponent get too Wait, I don't know about comfort, that pistol. Should his jetpack inevitably malfunction, Fett can reacquaint his victims with their maker with his Gatterfee stick, handcrafted by Fett himself as part of a Tusken rite of passage. Kind of like how Jedi make their lightsabers. Add in your classic <laughs> flash bombs, sonic bombs, gas bombs, motion sensor bombs, and the uber-powerful thermal detonators, and Fetty's base basically a one-man army. Thermal detonators yeah. can annihilate small buildings and even this giant stone bridge. Based on its size and the number of bombs used, each one should be packing around three and a half tons of TNT. But his weapons aren't all that make Fett so what deadly. Is this game? He's a master marksman, hand-to-hand -hand fighter, and tactician. He'd need to be to take on the Jedi and steal their sweet, sweet laser swords for himself. He outsmarted the Jedi Master Mace Windu as just a child, and we know he's fought multiple Jedi after the Purge. In the old Legends timeline, he even fought Darth Vader Vader twice, the same Vader who can dogfight at near light speed. Yeah. That's why he's decked out with all those I actually re uh, looked up that comic too. Because I saw it pop up on my, my record. Oh, crap. What happened to my webcam? Hold on. I just now noticed it. Note to self. Get a better webcam. I don't know what's wrong with this webcam. It's been giving me props for quite a long time, if you guys haven't noticed. Even though it's brand new, it's been giving me all kinds of issues. I don't know how long ago that started. Anyway, let's, um, uh, a little bit of time. And here we go. Just a child. And we know he's fought. Don't know how long Jedi ago that happened. Purge. In the old Legends timeline, he even fought Darth Vader twice. The same Vader who can dogfight at near light speed. That's why he's decked out with all those tools to distract and confuse Jedi in their space magic long enough to get a clean kill. And while he has a professional code of honor, when it comes to combat, Fett will use any underhanded tactics he can think of, perfect for fighting honorable Jedi. <laughs> As my personal hero once said, silly Jedi. If only he was here right now to kill all these stupid meatbags. Ah, uh, that's probably not good. Boba can crumple steel doors HK with ease, outrace with his jetpack, and was shot for the chest and number. just walked it off. He was Wait, what happened? explosions with his jetpack and was shot through the chest and just walked it off. He was, and I quote, very angry about it. Not even the Sarlacc, the giant monster space vagina itself, was able to hold him, no matter the continuity. Even into middle age, Boba remained a force to be reckoned with. In the older timeline, he led the Mandalorians to victory in the Yuuzhan Vong War, and even trained the Jedi Jaina Solo to defeat her brother, who really? just so happened to be a Dark Lord of the Sith. I guess even Boba was able to overcome his anti-Jedi prejudices. And then Disney axed all that. But who gives yeah. a shit when you're sitting pretty on <clears throat> Jabba's throne like an absolute pimp? Or... Like a panther! <laughs> he even managed to defeat Cad Bane in a duel, possibly the greatest bounty hunter the galaxy had ever seen up until that point. Second greatest now is, and look at that dodge! Channeling some of that Han shot first energy I see. So if you ever find- I like the show. I really did. Yourself in Fett's crosshairs, don't bother running. You'll only die tired. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by Mint Mo- We skipping this part. largest 5G network to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks. That's mintmobile.com slash 7 in the box. Here we go. <clears throat> the year was 1987 in the balmy jungles of Central America in elite American spec op. See, all I know about the Predators is basically from the movies and that's it. I never looked into any in the uh, expanded, expanded lore of uh, the Predator. Unit would come into conflict with just wanted to point that out before anybody says anything. Their mission <clears throat> was a success. But little did they know, they were the ones being hunted. It was almost as if the jungle itself was killing them. But in reality, it was a traveler from beyond the stars, a superhuman killing machine whose entire life was devoted to murder. This was a predator, and these men were its prey. And this alien hunter had more than enough gnarly gadgets to take Arnie and his crew down. Like the Plasma Caster, a shoulder-mounted laser cannon. It has a tracking system connected. I have a feeling they're going to show much more equipment from, like, expanded universes of the Predator. 
like the comic books, the book adaptations. Literally, like I said, all I know is from the movies, and that's it. There might be more equipment and such from the expanded universe that I'm not aware of. Connected to the Predator's <clears throat> bio helmet, which allows him to see in X ray, UV, and night vision. This is on top of the Predator's own unique way of seeing, through natural infrared sight. Essentially, he tracks individuals by recognizing differences in heat signatures. Too bad humans can't do the same, since the Predator's full-body light-bending camouflage makes him invisible to the naked human eye, letting him blend into the shadows and pick off his prey one by one. But as ruthless as that sounds, the Predator is actually an honorable fighter, who relishes the chance to fight up close and personal with his iconic wrist blades. And guess what? What? For as bad as this one predator was, this dude wasn't even that special. In fact, he was actually kind of a noob. There's a whole planet of these guys. These are the Yaucha. <laughs> Yaucha? 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 They never actually see it in the movies. Yaucha society is based around one thing, hunting. The bigger and deadlier the game, the more honor slaying it brings. Which is why the Predators take on muscly 80s action heroes for breakfast. <laughs> Just one failed hunt forever dooms a Yaucha to humiliation or death. And since Yaucha lifespans can last hundreds of years, that would mean that Elder Hunters have centuries of combat experience and have never been defeated. They have literally kept winning for hundreds of years. And this is the kind of Predator we're looking at today. The only way to become a fully independent hunter, a blooded hunter, is to slay their equally dangerous rivals, the, the alien. Xenomorph. With bulletproof skin, acid blood, and retractable penis mouth, these aliens are dangerous <laughs> enough to take down even the best Yaucha hunters. Which is why they carry a greatly diversified arsenal compared to the original jungle hunter. These more exotic weapons are earned over the course wow. of numerous successful hunts and are proof what of a that? Yeah, see, comic books, I told you. Like the retractable combi sticks, neck guns, and controllable smart discs that vibrate at supersonic speeds, allowing them to kill their ultimate equally dangerous rival, Gary Busey. They even carry a portable <laughs> EMP that will disrupt all electronic devices in the vicinity, forcing their prey to fight them on their terms. Which is when they break out their plasma scythe, made of messed up plasma scythe. energy. This dark plasma the scythe emits cannot be stopped by conventional matter. Instead of merely cutting a target, its energy passes through their body, ensuring their victim will die in as little as four hits. Even without his arsenal, the Predator is a literal beast. He's strong enough to tear through two inches of steel like it was tissue paper, casually invent the first Mortal Kombat fatality, <laughs> and give Mother Nature the finger. Lions, tigers, and bears? Oh, shit! It helps that Yaucha armor is plasma forged, making it incredibly durable. The Predator is tough enough to tank huge gas explosions and fast enough to dodge laser beams. But even if a Predator is defeated, he is expected to perform one final rite. Activating a countdown to a nuclear explosion that vaporizes everything within 300 city blocks. Based on the size of that blast, this would be exploding with 15 times the energy as the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. So huh. when a Pred wants you dead, there's no escape. Not even an army of Xenomorphs and their queen are enough to take yeah, the predator down. When even Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger shits his pants in your very presence, you know you're as badass as they come. A goddamn sexual Tyrannosaurus. This episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm-fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip mm -hmm. the trip to the grocery store and... Okay, before the fight begins, I'm going to cast my vote on saying that Boba Fett wins. Don't ask me why. That's who I'm going with primarily. Count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh now has 30 dinner recipes to choose from every single week. That's the most choices of any meal kit. Foolproof step-by-step -step recipes make a joyful cooking experience and a stress-free summer. Customize your favorite dishes with new... You know what's funny? I just realized I'm watching two different franchises and yes, I'm wearing a Jurassic Park shirt. <laughs> Just came to my mind. One protein or side for another. That means more choices, more variety, and more meals. All right. Easy to make Hello code Fresh Delivery free. All right, the combatants are set to run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle.
Here we go. Boba is better at farther range, but Predator is better at closer range. Ooh, I'm not liking my odds right now. Eesh. You rockets. Oh. <clears throat> oh, there's his bath of stick. What happens to the quality? Hold on. Ooh, 2160k. I'll do it. Ooh. It's gonna come right back. You're mine. Scythe. Forgot he got a lightsaber at one point. Boba. Or are they just probably just gave to him for this fight? This problem. I'll be taking this. Fools. I like all my odds were on my point. Boba. Correctly. Oh, man, Boba was always a one-man army, even as a one-armed man. Despite the Predator's fearsome power and experience, Fett's versatility and arsenal allowed him to survive this hunt. While Boba could crumple steel, the Predator could easily tear straight through it, making him the stronger of the two. But while the Predator could dodge laser beams, Fett could match Force users with near lightspeed reactions, making them similar in speed. However, the major difference was durability. While the Predators are definitely tough, Fett's Beskar armor covers more of his body and would easily resist yeah. almost all of a Predator's arsenal. Like the Plasma Caster, <laughs> usually hot enough to blast a hole through anything. But you know what else is made of plasma? Lightsabers, which bounce off Beskar, no problem. Yeah. Specialized tools like the Plasma Scythe, with its ability to bypass conventional matter, could manage to kill Fett with a few lucky hits. However, Fett's jetpack and long-range arsenal allowed him to fight safely from a distance. And Fett's kit countered a lot of what Predator could do. His helmet's infrared could see past Pred's camouflage, his flamethrower messed with Pred's thermal vision, and yeah. nothing the Predator had could withstand a lightsaber strike. Also, the Predator's EMP could not disable Fett's armor, considering Beskar has withstood bolts of electromagnetic energy before without short-circuiting. That's not to say the Predator was totally outmatched. He had a lot of similar gear, and a peak Predator would have had centuries of combat experience backing him up, way more than Boba. However, Fett was generally trickier. Predators fight with a code of honor, and rarely, if ever, Boba Fett doesn't tactics. when it comes to well, Fett isn't totally without a lot honor. of fights. He still employs dirty tactics to win fair fights, and was more likely to outfuck the Pred given the chance. Of course, none of that would have mattered had the Predator taken them both out with his nuclear suicide bomb. At its epicenter, it would have been more than powerful enough to fry Fett. 
at its epicenter. The further away you are from the center of a blast, the less energy you're getting hit with. By our calculations, Boba only needed to get about 50 meters away before the energy he was tanking was only about as much as your average thermal detonator, which the best car can survive. And given the countdown lasts 40 seconds, there was more than enough time, especially with a jetpack. Hell, Arnie escaped the same attack just by sprinting. But perhaps the most important <laughs> difference is the scope of their prey. Xenomorphs are definitely deadly, but they're not quite as dangerous as a master force user who can read minds and throw starships around like they're made of paper. Fett was definitely prepared for anything the Predator could throw at him, even space magic. The Predator was as deadly and skilled as they come, but Fett's cunning, arsenal, and impenetrable armor gave him the win. Congrats to Boba! Give him a hand! Oh wait, he's already got one. <laughs> the winner is Boba Fett. Hey, if you want more Death Metal ASAP, why not grab a membership? You'll get exclusive emotes, badges, live chat, live streams, and a bunch of behind the scenes stuff. Just click that join Okay. That ended up being a lot more better than I was actually anticipating. I'm glad I was right about Boba Fett winning that match because I want boy Boba Fett to survive a lot worse than a predator could. I mean, the book of Boba Fett, his childhood, his near death with the Sarlacc, all speaks for itself. Predators, they come and go. Not Boba. Boba's here to stay for a long time. Um, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry about my webcam bunking out. And I didn't even know when that happened. I'll probably find out when I edit this video when it started. Couldn't have been too far into the video. It must have been like a few seconds before I looked over. I definitely got to get a better webcam, even though this webcam's not even, not even that old. Really, it's literally as old as my computer. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like, subscribe, and all this stuff, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.